Hi everybody. First of all, let's talk about the bridges in Da Nang. There are five notable bridges connecting Son Cha Peninsula with the mainland. The Vietnamese word for bridge is cao, C-A-U. Cow. The northernmost bridge is called Tuan Phuc. It is a giant, beautiful suspension bridge. It connects the coastal and beach roads from Hoi An up through the peninsula and on up to the Da Nang Bay Road, which continues up and over Hai Van Pass and then onward north towards Hue. Tuan Phuc crosses the north end of the Han River where it flows into the Da Nang Bay. I have never seen big trucks on this bridge. Only little trucks and cars and motorbikes. The next bridge to the south is the Han Bridge. It crosses the Han River. It connects Pham Van Dong Road on the peninsula to Le Zuan Street in the city. Han Bridge is sometimes called the Hippie Bridge because of the beautiful light show it presents after dark. There are some fabulous secrets about this bridge which you must discover for yourself after you get here. The Dragon Bridge is the third one down on the river. It was completed in 2013 and is a fine example of modern engineering and what I've come to call in Vietnam a spectacular whimsy. They could have built a boring bridge here, but they built this city centerpiece that actually breathes fire on Saturday and Sunday nights at 9 o'clock. The head is on the Son Cha side and the tail is where a cluster of ATMs are. Remember that. The money is at the tail of the dragon. <laughs> yep. The money is at the tail of the dragon. Remember that when you're in Da Nang. Tron Thi Le Bridge and Win Van Troy Bridge are the next ones to the south. They are right next to each other. Tron Thi Le was initially a railroad bridge but was upgraded to a road bridge and named Tron Thi Le in 1975. Prior to that it was Trinh Minh Thé Bridge and prior to that during the French occupation it was De Latre de Tassigny Bridge. People sometimes call it the sail bridge because the 12 degree off vertical main support with the support cables resembles a very large sailing vessel. Alongside it is the Win Van Troy Bridge, which is currently a footbridge only, and it is a great place for kids to hang out and have picnics at night. Wholesome kids, cute kids. Tien Son Bridge is the main highway through Da Nang, which gives tractor trailer container hauling trucks access to the container port at the western tip of Son Cha Mountain. It is not a beautiful bridge, but it is definitely an important bridge. Most of the commerce in central Vietnam rolls across it, going and coming from the container port.
that form. Okay. Okay, so this looks promising. Maybe. Oh yeah, nice. Cool, okay. Got a good view here. We wanna zoom or not? Nope, let's not zoom. Just leave this. So that dirty water down there is where the brackish water from the river and the bay meet the ocean. That's always there. There's a wall there of not mixing water, or not mixing water very well. And it also looks like it's a popular spot for fishing. And this is also where the mud stopped during mud season last year. Right here at this line, the mud, it was muddy up to this line, and then on the right side of the line, it was blue. Very strange. So, you know, different, different missabilities. One does not want to mix with the other. Yeah, Monkey Mountain's pretty cool. I've been up here half a dozen times maybe over the years. Brought friends up here. I come up, I was up here in the rain once and that was really cool. Although these, these walls are a little sketchy in the rain. They want to slide. And so you gotta kinda be careful. Like stepping off of this dirt wall right here. <laughs> Okay, so, Monkey Mountain, let's go, keep going.
Hello. I love coming up here. It's just beautiful. I'm, you know, I'm a mountain kid myself. I grew up in Salt Lake City, and so I love a view. I just am madly in love with a beautiful view. So that's what I have behind me. For sure, Danang from up on Son Cha Mountain, Monkey Mountain. Okay, so that's the beach, right? There is the fishing fleet marina right there, the fishing fleet harbor. That's the river right there. So there's the big uh, bridge right there. And then the bay is over there. So the Han River, there's a the dragon bridge. There's Tronti Lee Bridge. And you can see Han Bridge between the two stacks of towers down there on either side of the river. Yeah, it's beautiful. There's the airport, right? You can see the airport, I think. And all the hotels on the beach. Beach goes all the way down to Hoi An. You know, 35, 40 kilometers down there. Anyway, beautiful place. Fabulously beautiful place. And it's nice out today. I mean, it's sunny. It's warm. I am getting used to the heat, you know. Uh, I have become a tropical person, a warmth-loving person. In fact, it would be difficult for me to move back to the States now. If I ended up there, I'd have to end up in Brownsville, Texas or somewhere warm. Warm and oceany. Okay, so I'm going to ride down and turn this bike in. Oh, so I rented a winner. You can't come up on the mountain with an automatic, so you have to come up with a shifter bike. And this is a 150 water-cooled single-cylinder Honda winner. Fun! Oh my god. Fun, 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 fun. And um, the, this mountain's really steep. Really, really steep. And people have gotten hurt coming down on automatics. They lose the clutch, disengages from the engine, and they don't know enough to, you know, punch the throttle a little bit to re-engage the clutch with the engine, which will slow them down. But some people don't know that, and they've gotten hurt. They've been, you know, this is steep. This is pretty steep. It's, uh, well, look at this the horizon versus the guardrail you know I mean people get if you lose control and then somebody shot video of somebody jumping off of a motorbike going really fast and it's bad news and somebody got hurt I think maybe even somebody got killed up here and so the police just said no more automatics on Monkey Mountain so in order to come up here you have to rent a six-speed or five-speed uh, you have to be on a manual bike you know and it doesn't even to be a clutch bike. It can be just a three-speed semi-auto. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna bring this bike back to Jessica and Kwong. They charged me four bucks for the afternoon, 100 thou, to rent it and come up here. So that's nice of them. Huh, okay. Beautiful day. Let me go home and finish this video, okay? See ya. Hello, so I'm at Filong and I'm meeting Jonah for coffee and I just want to make a quick comment on the month of June being very cool compared to last year. Last year the heat came right at the end of May and it was hot, super hot all summer, June, July, August, September and then typhoon season happened. So last year was just kind of a bad weather year, not to mention COVID. And this year, I mean, we still have COVID stuff going on, but June has been gentle. I mean, it's been overcast and a little rainy and temps, you know, high 70s to mid 80s and gentle. I mean, you have to bring your rain gear with you, but that's okay. It's better than sweltering in the you know, where it's 99 and 85% humidity and it feels like 125. Then that happens here. It gets hot, 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 hot. The only thing you can do is go ride around on your motorbike. And 
And then when you do that, you even have to drink water because it's like getting baked in a convection oven. Amazing. It's amazing. So anyway, I'm just like plugging Da Nang for its beautiful weather right now. It could be hotter than hell, and it's not. It's beautiful. Uh, you know, beautiful. Okay.